Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the first lab program of 18 CSL 76 and it is A star algorithm. Okay, so uh, I'll be first telling you what it uh, is actually and I'll be telling you a few basic concepts and after that I'll be explaining you this uh, code here and I'll be giving you an example as well as uh, whatever is taken here. The example same I'll be explaining you using this uh, graph here and uh, how do you approach this one and after that I'll be telling you how to remember this code. Okay, so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this okay so let's get uh, started so see here uh, what is a star algorithm means it is uh, same at breast first search breath first search means what you'll be having a node here for example you have a node here tell me what is its neighbors its neighbors are b and f right so that is what you'll be searching first then after that you'll be searching cd gs and so on okay so that's what is happening here also uh, the same to breath first search but here we'll having a heuristic value heuristic means profit value okay or extra money okay just consider that one so i will be uh, and uh, that will be uh, added with the actual cost from the source node to the destination node okay so this will be understanding more i'll be uh, when i'll be explaining the example only so let's get um, to the next point here what is the formula h of n is nothing but extra uh, profit okay means uh, if you are uh, in your kitchen the tap is uh, becoming bad okay means it's uh, leaking water okay so what you will do is you will call a plumber and for uh, calling the plumber you will uh, give some money right so that is what h of n okay and uh, the actual cost to repair that one buying a new tap that is g of n okay that's what here also heuristic value means for hiring someone how much value you have to pay and actual cost means for doing your task how much you have to pay for him okay that are two, uh, two things f of n is total cost uh, h of n plus g of n it's nothing but uh, heuristic value plus actual cost okay so this is the formula you have to remember so uh, starting uh, let me give you the brief overview of what we are doing here here some notes are given you'll be starting from here okay i always start from here where the function is getting called from is a star i'll go a and j okay a and j is getting passed here so where it goes it goes to this point here so a is the start node and j is the stop node okay so we, when we have these two things here start node is a and stop node is j then we'll be doing this uh, uh, whole algorithm okay so and also we have done a few things here graph node is assigned as well as heuristic values is assigned okay what does this mean since this i'll be explaining you from a you, are, you can go to b as well as you can go to f and from a if you want to go to b what is the cost it's written here if you want to go from a to f what's the cost that's written here for example in this you can see here from a to b you can go with six cost and from a to f you can go with three cost that's what it's written here six and three okay this i've written here and h of n is about the cost of hiring if you want to cost uh, if you want to hire a you have to pay 10 if you want to hire b you have to pay eight and so on okay so uh, yeah these things are given here now how to get started see one thing you have to remember your uh, starting node is a and you have to go to j okay from a you have to go to j and many paths are available as you can see here which is the shortest path that you have to find out very simple which is the shortest path that you have to find out for that we'll be calling this algorithm which is okay this is the algorithm which will be calling a star algo okay in a star algo we'll be having these things start node and stop node so this is a and j and we'll be creating a set okay set means in set you cannot have duplicate values okay just consider this as a group okay so in set we'll be inserting a start node here okay start node is a so in uh, set what we'll be having we'll be having a here okay so uh, we'll be inserting a here so we can write just a here in open set that's the first node starting node so we'll be inserting a here after you've done, uh, after you've done the, uh, that one will be initializing the uh, close note as well. In close note, we don't have any value here, so it will be just an empty, empty set here. And G and uh, parents, these both are nothing but the dictionaries, okay? As you can see the flowering basis here, that's nothing but the dictionaries, okay? G and parents are dictionaries, it's empty initially. Then we are assigning some value to uh, G and parents. For G start node, we are assigning zero. That means uh, start node is A as of now. So A's value is zero, okay? To reach A, it is costing zero. Obviously, this is the first node. To reach A, it is costing me zero only. That's what I'll be writing here. A colon zero. So this is what I want. Uh, like uh, to reach A, it is costing me zero. And the same thing I'll go with parents as well. Parents of start node is equal to start node. So parents of A is nothing but A itself, right? So uh, from where I came uh, to A, I just started from A. So I'll just write A A. Okay, parents of A is A itself. After I've uh, done that one, then I'll be coming to the while loop. And the whole program runs till the while loop. If I come out of the while loop, it's over. Okay, means the program is over. So inside the while loop, what's happening? Inside the while loop, first I'm taking n value. n means what? 
and is uh, choosing a node which node i am currently at okay current which node i am at i am at a but i i'll initially take it as none after that i'll check in the open set in open set for v we are considering an open set open set has all those values which i am uh, currently i uh, not explored so a is not explored as of now after i explore b and f then i'll be removing a from here after i have explored uh, b that means i've seen c i've seen d then i'll remove b like that it goes okay so i'll consider a here a is in open set so for v in open set means a value is here if n is none n is none uh, so what we will be doing is not check this one if this condition is true in or will not go for the second condition which i uh, send the n value as b so <clears throat> what is the v value i've considered a so n will become a so after i've uh, finalized the a value means n value now i'll check if it's the stop node means if a is the destination or if a has none neighbors does a have none neighbors no a has some neighbors here these both are what neighbors b and f so a has some neighbors and a is not the stopping node so i'll not do this one i'll not do pass if i don't do pass then i'll obviously go to else condition then in else condition what i'm doing is just one for loop inside for loop there is an if else condition fine if uh, inside for loop what is there if else condition fine so here what i'm doing is m comma wait in get neighbors of n get neighbors what it will do get neighbors will return me what are the neighbors of n this is a function defined here okay if v in graph nodes return graph nodes of v means if the there is v in graph nodes means if there is a valid node v called graph node in graph nodes i have to return the neighbors of v what i mean is graph nodes of v if v i am considering a i will be returning this one when i return this one v and f along with their values v and f along with their values should be coming and substituting here and at each time i will consider one see b and f two things came b and f so for b i will consider first then for f i will consider next so b with what uh, value it was assigned that will be weight and with b uh, f what value was assigned that will be in the next iteration so for current iteration m comma weight is there so i'll assign these values what is the uh, values of uh, both of these see here b and 6 right so m uh, comma weight will be b and 6 fine so i uh, initialize b uh, and 6 here of our m comma weight now what i have to do m not in open set and m not in closed set means m should not be there in uh, open set as well as closed set open set and closed set can you see uh, m here m in the sense b can you see b here no it's not there right so what you have to do is you have to initialize um open set add m so add m value which is nothing but b to open set in open set i'll just add b here after i done that's one then what i'm supposed to do is i have to see parents of m after assign and g of m after assign parents of m means what parents of b who is parents of b n what is n value a right so parents of b is a means for, uh, to b how i came just ask to b how i came from a only so just write in parents of b as a to b i came through a like that you will assign and to reach b how much it costs to reach b how much it costs means to reach a plus this distance to reach a it costs zero plus this distance is six okay so I'll just write here to reach b is costing six that's what the same thing is here also b6 how i wrote is g of m g of b i'm assigning that is nothing but g of n g of a g of a is zero to reach a it is zero plus weight weight is nothing but the distance between these two okay six after i've done that one i've initialized means given the admission for b also then uh, if it was done i will not go to else i'll come back here and check the next neighbor what was the next uh, next neighbor next neighbor if you remember carefully it was f f comma three now i'll check for f comma three f comma 3 if f is there in the open set or not uh, close set around f is not there in open set not in close set give admission to f add it in open set and after that set the parent as well as this one so parent parent what i will set from uh, uh, to f how i came to f i came by a only and to reach f how much it costs to reach f it costs me to reach a plus 3 to reach a how much it costs 0 0 plus 3 is 3 only so to reach f how much it cost me 3 only isn't it after i've done this one then what i am supposed to do next i've given the admission i'll not go to else again i'll come back here i'll come out of this one after i've come out of this one then i'll come back here and if n is none n is what f is f none no f has some value is f the stop node no i want to reach j i don't want to stop in f so i'll not do this one also i'll come here open set dot remove n remove f from the open set and add it to close set sorry uh n is a actually right sorry remove uh from uh, the open set a and add it to the close set okay so remove from open set this a and add it to close set that's what i'll be doing here remove it from here and you know just write it here so close set means what it's explored 
A is explored. Why? Because I've considered both B, F, B and F and I've written here. Next, now comes the main part here in the code. In the main part, what you'll be doing is observe carefully. Again, I'll come back here and check if it is open set is greater than zero. Yes, it is greater than zero. N is none. I'll check and again, I'll consider it as none. Then for V in open set, in open set, I have now two things are there. B and F is there. I have to consider both of these. Why we are considering both of these, I'll tell you now. If you understand this one, code is over. That's all. N is equal to none. Yes, N is none. So I'll assign V value to N. So N is uh, now what? Keep in mind. N is what? N is uh, B now. Okay. Again, I'll come for V in open set. Open set's next value is what? After B. After B, it is F, right? So I'll be assigning F here. So I'll be checking if N is none. No, N is not none. N has the value B. And now I'm checking G of V. V is what? F, right? G of uh, F means what? To reach F, how much it costs me? To reach F, how much it costs me? 3. 3 plus, what is the heuristic value of F? Heuristic means how much it takes. For F, how much it takes money? Uh, 6 extra. So 6 plus 3. That's my total actual cost. To reach here, I'll take 3 plus uh, F's actual cost is 6. Same I'll compare with the next one, which is B's also. G of N plus heuristic of N means N value is B, right? So heuristic of N will be B only. So what is the value to reach B plus what is the actual value of B? To reach B, how much is value plus what is the actual value of B? 8 plus 6, 14. 3 plus 6, 9, which is less. 9 is less. So I'll consider F here. F will be updated to N. Okay. So N value will become F. After I've chosen the shortest path, see, that's what this for loop is for. This for loop is for just checking the uh, optimal neighbor, which is the uh, nearest neighbor I can choose. Okay. That's what it is. This is the most nearest neighbor. I'll choose this neighbor. Again, I'll repeat the same thing again and again till I reach my uh, root node again what will happen i'll consider this one again i'll see which is lesser path i'll choose that one again from this i'll go here which is the one neighbor obviously this only then from here i'll see which is the least neighbor then when i reach here i'll be stopping my uh, iterations okay so in order not to make the video long i'll not do that one here i'll be just telling you a brief overview of what's happening whenever you get a stop node at the end you'll be just stopping here and pass pass means just finish it means you'll be not doing this one. This one already explained what it is for. Means if M is not there in open set and close it, you'll do, uh, do admission, else you'll do the updation. That's all, okay. And if it is none, path does not exist, means if it ended without going to the uh, source node end, or else just uh, add it to the, means uh, if you have got the stop node, then just add it. Means parents, parents, parents value, if you add it, you'll get the path from which parent you came, which parent, which parent, until you reach the source, reverse it, you'll get the answer, okay. So that's what uh, it happened in the whole code and um, I hope so you got a brief overview. I just don't want to make the video long. So that's how you uh, keep in mind the code and that's the brief overview of how this works. And uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.